What is the true spirit of art? And what is the right way to educate in art? Let's invite Robert Henry, the father of American realism painting, to discuss these questions with us. Henry, not only the leader of the Ashcan School, but also known as the Master of Masters, inspired countless painters and several world-class art masters with his artistic philosophy. Welcome, Mr. Henry. Hello, brother. Let's get straight to the point. Your century-old masterpiece, The Art Spirit, has now become a must-read for art practitioners. In your view, what kind of spirit constitutes the spirit of art? To discuss this topic, we might need to start with the definition of art. Then what is your definition? Well, those who truly understand art know that it can encompass all fields. It's not just about picking up a musical instrument or a paintbrush to be considered an artist. Everyone has an artist living inside them. And when awakened, no matter their profession, they become unique, boldly curious individuals who are adept at self-expression. In this sense, art is the imprint left by those whose talents are freely expressed. Such people live their lives in their own way, and everything they touch becomes a trace of their life's passage. Well said. Art is the imprint left by those whose talents are freely expressed, so everyone can be an artist. Yes. Art, in essence, is about doing anything better. Hmm. Doing anything to the utmost can be considered an art. I believe a true artist must first be a scholar. He needs to know how to observe, think, and convey his thoughts through an artistic medium to the world, forming his personal viewpoint that is valuable to life and others. Must one be like this to be considered an artist? I think artists have a unique ultimate mission, which is to teach people the way of life. Artists should make people realize that the purpose of life should be like playing as children do. However, this is a mature game, a game that showcases one's mental abilities. Well, that's not a low requirement. Well, don't think about becoming a great artist. The world's best art is the emotion left by those who don't necessarily aim to create great art, but are fully engaged in utilizing their strengths and enjoying it. With this mindset, the outcome will naturally be beautiful. Then, what do you think is most important on the path to becoming an artist? The most important thing is to cultivate spontaneity. We are not here to do what has already been done. The works of masters prove that because they dared to be themselves, their works became masterpieces. Being oneself certainly comes at a great cost, but it's worth it. Mm, it's admirable to be brave enough to be oneself. Unfortunately, many people still can't even recognize themselves. Knowing oneself is a significant task, and no one has completely accomplished it. But trying to know oneself is to evolve. Due to the influence of education, we have always been deviating from the path we should follow. But this is a meaningful struggle. Even though the chances of success are slim, it still brings joy in the endeavor. The things left behind by those who truly live as themselves are real art. Hmm, the things left behind by those who truly live as themselves are real art. So Mr. Henry, what kind of education do you think can help people achieve this? In my view, among the educated and uneducated, there are just as many ignorant people. Traditional education focuses too much on rules and neglects the stimulation of emotions. To engage in artistic creation, people must first have genuine feelings. We need to guide students to educate themselves. A self-educator knows that they are responsible for their personal development, and no one can lead them. No matter how great a school is, what students learn is up to them. All education is ultimately self-education. When we cultivate a group of self-educators, we don't have to worry about the rigid education of schools. The strengths and weaknesses of schools all become nutrients for their progress. I completely agree. The best education is undoubtedly self-education. Finally, what message would you like to leave for our audience? For those who consider themselves artists, play to your heart's content and use your art to make a stir in the world. 